This is not financial advice. I'm recording my thoughts about four chip stocks that are in the buy zone right now. Number one is Lamb Research Group, ticker symbol LRCX. It's currently trading at about $75. And I'm estimating $140 price target by 2028. And that represents about 87% gain in four years, which is very attractive. And if there is still chip stock hype by 2028, this stock can potentially go to $196, which represents about 162% gain from the current price of $75. I've done a detailed video about LAMP two months ago, in which I go over their business model, financials, and the assumptions behind the valuation. You can check it out if you're interested. Number two is Applied Materials, ticker symbol AMAT. It's currently trading at about $170. I'm estimating $311 stock price by 2028. And that represents about 83% gain in four years, which is very attractive. And if there is chip stock hype, even in 2028, I can potentially get a $373 price target for this company, which represents about 119% gain from the current price of $170. That's also a very attractive gain. I've done a video on applied materials two months ago in which I go over their business model, financials, and the assumptions behind the valuation. Please check it out if you're interested. Number three is ASML Holding NV, ticker symbol ASML. It's currently trading at about $714. I'm estimating stock price of $1,132 by 2028, and that represents about 58% gain in four years, which will beat the index. And if there is still chip stock hype in 2028, this stock can potentially go to $1,509, and that represents about 111% gain, which is a very attractive gain. I've done a video on ASML a couple of months ago in which I go over their business model, valuation, and financials. You can check it out if you're... Number four is Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO. It's currently trading at about $232. And in the base case scenario, I'm estimating a stock price of $302 by 2027. And that represents about 30% gain in three years, which is attractive. And if the best case scenario plays out for Broadcom, it can potentially go to $425 by 2027. And that's 83% gain in three years. And that's a very attractive gain. Two weeks ago, I've done a video on Broadcom in which I went over their growth story, financials, and valuation. You can check it out if you are interested. I'll leave the links in the pinned comment. So these are the four stocks that are not NVIDIA that I think have significant upside potential in the coming years. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.